This video describes recording tutoring sessions and then sharing the recordings with students. All tutoring sessions are to be recorded so that they are available later to be played back if either the student or the tutor wishes to view the session. This is particularly useful if the topic is difficult and the student would like to have a second look and wishes to review the lesson. When you first enter the online classroom, you will get a pop-up reminding you to record this, the session. To record a session, simply click on the record button located on the top right corner of the classroom. This will bring forth a pop-up window letting you know that the session recorder is now running. You would click OK and then you will note in the participants area there is now a robot user which has joined the classroom and has started to record the activities. The robot user is simply there for the purpose of recording. During the session, you have the option of pausing the recording by clicking on the pause button. You will then note that in the participants area, the robot user has now been grayed out, which means that the recording has stopped or paused. And then to resume the recording, you would simply press the pause button again. And this will continue the recording, which will be stored as a single file. You also have the option of breaking the recording of the session into parts by stopping and restarting the recorder. Please note that each time the session recorder is stopped and restarted, a new recording file is produced. And this may be used if, for example, it's a long session and the tutor would like to break up the session into parts. The tutor has the option of having two or more recordings for the same session, with each recording having a different topic. Then, when the session is completely finished, to stop the recording, you would click on the button with the red X. You will notice that as soon as you stop the recording, the robot recorder will leave the classroom and then the recording is available for the tutor to view and also for the tutor to share with a student. There is also a confirmation pop-up window that says that the session recorder is now stopped and that the recorder or recording is available for playback. Please note if you leave the classroom while the recorder is being played, when you come back in, you will have to restart the recording because you are the person who started the recording and the recording robot will leave with you. Thus, if you are disconnected from the classroom or accidentally leave, when you go back in, please remember to restart the recorder. To view the recording, you would need to be signed in with your account at the event center with your username and password, and then you would visit the moderator menu and go to where it says Manage Recorded Sessions. Click on that and it will bring forth a list of all the recordings that have taken place in your classroom. To view a particular recording, uh, note that the most recent recording will be at the very top. So if this is the recording that you wish to view, you would go to the end and click on the word More. And this would bring forth um, the properties for this particular recording. You need to give the report recording a name. And this is important because it helps the student to be able to find that particular um, topic that was being covered. For the tutor, if you wish to view the recording, all you would need to do is click the word play and then you would be able to uh, view the recording. If you wish to give a student permission to view the recording, you would select the recording is available for playback. And then you would click the down arrow. You will be given four choices. You would choose the last choice, which says the following users. And then you would click select attendees. And that would bring forth a list of the students that you tutor. 
all of the students that you tutor will be in this list and you would find the student's name and then go to the end and click add and immediately the student's name will be uh, added to the bottom of the information window for the particular recording. It's important that you click the word save otherwise the student has not yet been given permission until you click the word save. Then you will note that the recording is now shaded in green which means that it has been shared with a student and then the student um, can view the recording if he or she needs to have a better understanding of what was taught. When the students log in to their own accounts, they have the option of going to My Recordings on their event menu and then selecting the recording and clicking play. This concludes the video on recording a session and sharing with a student. Thank you for watching.